Hey guys, it is me again. Today is uh, I'm getting a paper here. Wednesday, uh, the twelfth, October the twelfth, makes it day two eighty five on our project survey and more. As always, guys, it's good to be here tonight. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me for that, guys. Um, as usual, too, I'm running behind. So, in the last few nights, I've said that I was running behind and I needed to make a quick vid, and I'm not be able to do it. They've been 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 minutes. So, uh, tonight, I really am going to try to make a quick vid. So, uh, like I said, as always, guys, it's good for for uh, for me to be here. I hope you guys still enjoy being here. Uh, you know, because you guys are why I do it. You know, uh, to try to spread the gospel out there and get it to. Um, you know, get it to somebody. Uh, we know the word of the Lord does not return void. So, uh, you know, that's something that I ask the Lord, you know, it's just to, to give me somebody, you know, give me a receptive audience, you know, give me, uh, I prayed for that tonight at church, you know, that he would bring new people, bring, bring people into the church, you know, that, that need, uh, that need to be, uh, that need to be saved, you know, people that need to, to hear God's uh, plan for them, to hear the gospel, to hear, uh, you know, what the Lord's done for them, and and uh, let them know, uh, you know, what the uh, the benefits of of uh, of uh, of accepting God's offer, and you know, you also got to give them the uh, uh, tell them the. Uh, ramifications if they don't accept you know uh, God's offer and his saving grace so um, I just hope we can do that here like I said I prayed for that uh, we had a really good prayer tonight at church uh, matter of fact we prayed so much guys that we didn't get to uh, didn't get to do our Bible study I guess we prayed for 40 minutes probably solid uh, me standing up me standing up behind the pulpit and praying you know just praying with my eyes closed uh, it just, you know, it's funny how, how you can, when you're praying like that and you're getting the Holy Spirit, no joke, like I said, I, it was at least 35, maybe 40 minutes of praying. And it, it felt like five minutes, you know. Uh, but we did, we had a good time, and I praise the Lord for that. We really felt His Spirit, and uh, I just want you guys to, uh, to experience that as well. So, uh, anyway, guys, let's get started here tonight. Acts chapter 5, starting in verse 24. I believe that's where we left off. So that's where we're going to start. So here we go. Now when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them whereunto this would grow. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are to set them before the council. And the high priest asked them, saying, Did we not? And Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. You know, guys, right here, if more of us would do this right here and be honest about it, if we would say we're going to obey God rather than men and do it, this this world, this country, it, it would it would change like that. You know, we need to worry about pleasing God, not pleasing men. Uh, you know, it's like today, you know, with all your political correctness and, and all this other stuff, it's, I don't know, it's not culture, I guess, to, to please God anymore, you know, to, according to the popular, uh, you know, people. But, you know, as Christians, we have to worry about pleasing God and not men. That's the reason sometimes when, when I preach, at church, or you know, I'm telling somebody that something the Holy Spirit's put on me, uh, and sometimes I'll even say, you know, I'll, I'll say I know what I'm getting to say may make some people mad, but if it's in God's Word or or the Lord give it to me, I'm going to say it anyway, you know, because sometimes we need to be made mad, sometimes we need to be convicted, 
We need to worry about pleasing God. If we, if we were, if more of us would put God first in our lives, and that's another thing, like I said, guys, I'm seeing it in, in the church right now. People won't, will not put God first. People, people, you know, they, they, they put God fourth, fifth, or sixth in their life. Well, if I have time for God, I, you know, if I have time, I'll pray for for people. If I have time, I'll go to church. If I have time, I'll do this and do that. You know, if I have time, I'll read my Bible tonight. You know, and it's, you know, they're not putting God first. But anyway, let's continue, guys. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Again, they didn't care to pull any punches. I mean, they didn't pull any punches. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. And stood up there one in the council of Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. And he said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to stop. It looks like about 11 verses we did. Uh, as always, guys, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, I love you guys. Any, anything I can do for you, let me know. Just keep praying for me, guys. Pray, keep praying for my business. Uh, today's really the the worst day we've had this week so far. And of course, guess what? It done last night. It started raining, and it was. See, we've had good weather up to last night, and last night it brought rain and gloom and cooler. And as soon as that happens, you can just watch your business go. Uh, so I don't know. I hope the weather's better this week. Uh, just pray for it, guys. Pray for my business. And like I said, guys, pray for the church. Uh, it's really got me brokenhearted right now and, and hard, not hard-hearted, uh, uh, heavy-hearted uh, just because of so many people, like I said, so many people that are struggling to, through so many things. And I'm heavy-hearted because of that. I don't like seeing people suffer and struggle. But what even hurts hurts me worse than that is when they they're, they're going through these things and they turn away from God. Instead of running to God, instead of saying, God, here I am, help me, uh, they, they turn away from God. They reject God. They, The devil lies to them and, they, and tells them, oh, God ain't going to help you. Uh, they get discouraged with God. They blame God. They, they, Like I said, they quit coming to church. They lose their faith. I'm seeing so much of that right now, so much of that as things get hard. And that, that really that gives me a heavy heart to see that. It really does. So anyway, guys, just let's just pray for these people. Let's pray for all these people. There's people like that everywhere, worldwide. So let's pray for these people, guys. As a matter of fact, I'm going to end with a prayer here. And I, and I know I said it's going to make this video short, but uh, we're just uh, we'll, I, the Lord's putting it on me to end with a prayer. So let's do that. Father, I do thank you for for allowing me to be here today, Lord, for allowing me to to do this internet ministry, Lord. I I just pray, Lord, that you bless it. Uh, like like I said a while ago, like you said in your word, your word does not return void. Uh, so I know that, that when we speak it and we, we read it, that it's going to touch somebody somehow. So Lord, I just pray that you bless again. Bless this internet ministry. Uh, bless, Lord, uh, the church that you've put me in, in charge of, Lord. I pray that you bless uh, all the people in it, Lord. And I, I pray that you, you get more people being, uh, you convict their hearts, Lord, and get them, get them, uh, knowing that time's running out, Lord, uh, get them to know that, that they need to start repenting and coming to you, Lord, and, and quit putting everything else in their lives first, Lord. And I pray that you bless everybody, Lord, that, that needs blessing, Lord. I pray that you that you convict hearts that need convicting. I pray that you soothe hearts that need soothing, Lord. And I pray for all my internet friends here, Lord, uh, all over the country, all over the world, really. Um, I pray that you bless each and every one of them, Lord. And, and I thank you for all these things that we always do. We pray through your Son, Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. So anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for being here. Uh, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. If you need anything, let me know. So until I do see you guys again, good night. And God bless.